for this painting, I got an old canvas panel that was on the bookshelf in my front room. I'm only, I can only assume that my mom put it there. Um, it wasn't white. There was a few, like, random paint marks on it. And I can only assume that I did it, but it was very old and, like, very, very old. Like, I don't know, like decade two decades old I felt like almost with uh so I had to paint over it with blue well I painted well, I'm in between I'm waiting for art supplies um I came up out of my pocket and I spent money on art supplies um canvas and paint but I bought them from two different places Jerry's Artorama I've never bought anything from them before but it was really cheap in comparison to Michael's like Hobby Lobby or Amazon so I got canvas paper pad from there, and then from Michael's, I got art supplies on sale, paint, and a sketchbook. I don't really need the sketchbook, but I was like, I also got an eraser and an X-Acto knife, and I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do a video about that, because I'm going to maybe try to make a stencil, or, uh, not a stencil, a stamp of, like, a signature because I never sign off on my paintings and that's something I was like oh maybe if I have a stamp I won't feel as much pressure to sign them and I can just stamp a signature on there well sorry we'll see how that goes I don't know since I'm between art supplies and I'm very low on paint I was like sure I can paint over this old panel so I blacked it out only after I tried to create black, which I don't normally do. I mixed together a very dark shade of blue. I can't remember what its name is or exactly how to pronounce it. And then I mixed like a turquoise green, but it made it like a weird sea green, sea blue color. And then I was like, oh, fine, I'll use the last of this black paint on this stupid small panel that I'm not even confident I can execute what I want on it. I've been doing, the concept behind this one um, is from a doodle that I did on the 20th. I've been doodling a lot in crayon, partly because I've been watching a lot of Black Bean CSM, and he does a lot of stuff in different medium, and it kind of influenced me, because I have a bunch of crayons. I don't know why I do, but I have, I have a lot of crayons from my childhood, and I don't believe in wasting things, so it's like, sure, I can start drawing in crayon, my concept sketches. And it turned out to be a great idea because crayons are not rigid, you can't be as precise, and therefore I was more comfortable doing things that I wouldn't normally do with pencil or maybe a fine marker, um, and occasionally I guess charcoal or pen, but I mostly only use pencil. Kind of inspired by my other painting I did. I can't remember what it's called, but there it's on here. It's on here. On YouTube. I uploaded it. So, I'm not sure what size this is. I'm going to insert that because I can't. I didn't measure. And I, well, wait. 11 by 14. I want to start working smaller to push myself because I think I'm capable of it. Um, I think these are 16 by 20. One of the other ones that I did recently wasn't 16 by 20, and I think I said it was. I don't know what size it was. It wasn't 16 by 20, though. Um, I did have a name for this. I don't have a name for it on the concept sketch. But I'm very happy with how it turned out. It's not muddy. Like some of my other smaller experiments have been. And I'm normally very much a no comment sort of person. But I guess I should take advantage of this to, I guess, humanize myself. I do like channels where they, where they kind of show themselves. And I've been binge watching a lot of Black Bean. <coughs> CMS.
anyway, please comment, like, and or subscribe. I would like to grow my channel. So, um, comment something, anything, scathing, whatever. Um, like I said, um, comment anything, um, scathing, whatever. Um, if you thought that my process was interesting, found this entertaining at all, um, do that. My blood sugar is probably very low. My blood sugar was 42 earlier, and I'm just not, it's amazing that I, I did this. <sighs> I just don't feel that great. But I wanted to do this for the past two days, and I'm waiting for more art supplies. I didn't really get dressed today, I just put on this hoodie. I I should start spending more money on art supplies and like investing in myself because that's what my mom has called that but it's just like I don't feel like buying art supplies is rewarding because I really feel like I mean if I actually profited off of it it would be a tax write-off because I'm like art supplies are a working material but I'm not at that point so it just feels like with most of the things that I do, it's just going into the void. So, um, please like and subscribe. Comment something about this. I don't know what I'm gonna call it. This is just not my day. I hate it here. Oh my god, I just can't. Um, I I go through sometimes when I work on things, I come up with names for them. Like, I entertain various names, I throw them around, but for this one, I don't know. But, oh, that's what it was, because like my mind was like, marvelous, that was something I thought of. Force feed, that's probably what this is going to be. Force feed. I rambled. Thanks for, thanks for watching.